Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page and first I'm going to start with a technique for a background and I, I wanted to uh, try a, a new combination of colors that I'm trying to mix it up a little and I wanted to do turquoise and red. Usually I would go with turquoise and magenta and I want a little bit to uh, to try more uh, different colors and different combinations. So first of all I've got these two uh, um, colors. To uh, give more interest I will always uh, take uh, two uh, sh uh, darker shades or or lighter shades to make more interest so I'm taking this one and this one uh, for my page now I'm planning on doing part of the page here like with the turquoise and part with the red and in some ways they are going to come together but these two colors will make mud so when I'm doing something like that, I need to find a neutral color to come inside and bring uh, the two colors together. And for this uh, kind of thing, I will usually use white. White is neutral and it will be the equalizer between these two colors. So I will start uh, just because it's easier to show than to uh, to explain it in, in words. And I'm trying to find a nice brush. And let's see. I'm starting. I'm going to start with uh, the darker color. go maybe a little bit more I'm going with darker colors uh, on the edges and I'm going in to a lighter uh, so I'm already preparing my uh, my paints Let's hope this red and turquoise will work. Oops. Okay starting and hoping for the best because it can also go wrong the white with the with the red especially can uh, make an awful uh, shade of pink so I've got a problem with my lightning here so it just one of the lamp just went out so I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing maybe I'll I hope you can see what I'm doing with this light now uh, I can uh, continue like this and as you can see I don't have a full coverage I've got here, um, this is a watercolor paper and a very coarse uh, brush. If you want better uh, coverage, uh, add a little water to your paint. That's what I'm doing now. And it will also help me uh, blend with a uh, when I'm adding the next shade of uh, 
of paint. And now I'm going for the lighter one. And I'm uh, going in on and on top of what I've already painted, so it's going to to mix and create another shade. That's how I you mix them and then it's not harsh the when you move between the shades So I'm flipping uh, my page over just so it will be easier for me to work and I'm going to take another brush. Let's see what I've got here. Where did it go? I don't know. I'll be back. I'll find the brush and I'll be back. I'm back. And got another brush and now I'm starting in this corner with uh, this color. Moving to the red and again so it will mix nicely. So there will be blending between the two colors. Okay, now let's see. I'm thinking I'm taking another brush <laughs> and I'm going to take the white and I'm going to place it here generally and I'm going to spray a little water and I'm going to start smearing the white like so and now I'm dipping my brush in the lighter turquoise and I just made a mess here and again doing blending until I'm satisfied and I need more of the darker color it's not enough And you just continue to work it. And I don't care going over this again. I'll just continue adding until I have the, the right effect. Thank you. 
this can be done with a sponge also it doesn't have to be with a brush and now I'm flipping it over just again so I'll have it will be easier on me Well, what can I say? <laughs> I don't like it. I need to keep working on it. I'm thinking I'm taking a sponge and maybe then I can make it more subtle. I don't like what's going on right now on my page. told you about the, how uh, the pink can uh, come and it did. I don't like it at all. And I probably should wait uh, for this to dry so I can cover the pink with white. But for right now I'm going to continue at least eliminating all the brush strokes that I've got here. And going now for this side. I think it's starting to look better with the sponge. I'm adding here more of the darker color. And as you can see, I'm just going over and eliminating all the brush strokes. And I'm going in now here towards uh, the white and yeah, that's better. So I'm going to let all this uh, dry and maybe go over here a little bit more and adding white because I still think I need to eliminate a little bit of the pink maybe I'll do just here 
a little bit like so. Okay, I can live with it. That's it. That's my background. And now I'm putting it aside. And I want to make some flowers and I want to use the same colors that I have on my page only. They will be turquoise on top of uh, the red and uh, in reverse uh, the red on top of the... Um, so I'm just taking uh, book pages and I'm going over them with the pen that I've, I've got and I have added water So that's what I'm going to do. I'm uh, doing at least two pages with uh, with red, and I will do two pages with the turquoise. So I will have something to work with. I'm planning on uh, drawing some flowers on top of the pages, and then cutting them out and gluing them on my background. So, as you can see, I'm just smearing paint. Nothing to it. So, I'll be back once uh, everything will be dry and we can continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got this uh, a book page with the paint on it and it's dry and I want to stamp uh, on it. I've picked uh, several uh, stamps of flowers and I'm just gonna stamp away all over my page and just randomly, I don't care. I just want to add interest. I'm just uh, switching and stamping away. <laughs> Okay, so I have prepared the other pages, as you can see. So I've got uh, pages to work with, and I want some flowers taken from these pages. At first, I thought I would uh, draw some uh, flower and then fussy cut it, and then I decided I want to be lazy, and I'm going to take one of my uh, bigger punches and I will use it here we go this is a three inch uh, punch and now when you have a thin paper or flimsy paper it's better to reinforce it when you put it in a punch uh, or it will get stuck so I'm going to take some printer paper and just offhand I, I've got yellow, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take to punch some uh, flowers from my pages. giving me trouble so I'm going to even do something like that so I have the printer paper on top or and on the bottom 
of my uh, book page. Here we go. And I can use this later on for other projects. And here it is, it's giving me trouble. And I want an more again so now I've got two red flowers and a bunch of yellows that I don't care for <laughs> but what can you do if you want to punch through this uh, book page Maybe I'll try and I'll put two book pages, let's see, and I'll even fold them and let's see if I can punch this, yep, okay, saved myself some time. got a bunch of red flowers now for the turquoise I'm gonna do the same thing again just fold it there we go too much I think three pages too much but I've managed somehow I'm gonna take one out and I'm thinking of punching not the whole flower but part flower because sometimes I'm using them on the edges of my page Let's see. Here we go. So I'm going to also punch Okay, so now I've got all these flowers and here we go, I've got my background and I want the turquoise here and I want flowers and let's see, here we go, the, the ones that are not complete are going to go on the edges like so so I'm going to play around with the placement uh, of my flowers and I'm gonna glue them down and we'll see <laughs> and I'll come back because this is going to take me some time to decide where to put each flower. Here we go, something like that. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm back. So I've glued down uh, all these uh, flowers, and now I'm. Uh, I want to do something in the center. And I'm going to use this uh, as a guide. I've got this uh, 
light blue Posca pen and let's see just something to be in the centers like so I'm using it as a guide just to add something and play on the contrast that I've done here on my page between the red and the turquoise got another a uh, permanent uh, whatever marker uh, this is zig and I've got red need to clean this little bit more difficult to use because uh, this is a flat and not a round as the tip of this of the Posca pen so I'm doing the best I can with what I have doesn't really matter I just want something red in the middle here we go Now I just want to add here, I've punched more flowers from the, from the book and already done uh, them, I went over the edges with the permanent uh, uh, markers. <laughs> I think it's just uh, a little bit late for me and I'm losing my words so let's just uh, glue down I'm just going to glue down this uh, flowers there we go Here we go. This is my page. I'm running all out of time on my phone. I think it's going to quit on me. And I'll probably also go with a black permanent pen uh, on all the edges of these flowers. I'm not sure yet, but this is my page. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.